Hi, I'm Stephanie. I'm in Ireland. I was in relative foster care from age 4 to 18 and then engaged with aftercare from 18 to 22. My foster mum was always adamant that I would have a voice in decisions that impacted on me. She wanted to make sure that I felt like I was listened to when it came to important decisions about my care, even the odd complaint. In 2012, I was offered the chance to get involved in TAG through EPIC's participation programme. TAG is an advisory group of young care leavers who advise Tuzla, the state agency responsible for care and aftercare. It was set up by the then CEO, Gordon Jays. He would meet with us regularly. He, the group is made of care leavers from across Ireland aged 18 to 25. The group is diverse in its experiences and abilities, with members coming from foster care and residential care. The core value of the group was that everyone's experience and voice was respected and valued. Through EPIC, I also asked, was asked to participate in the EPIC Youth Council from 2016. And this year, because of COVID, the council has taken on extra activities to support council members during this difficult time, such as baking tutorials for Pride, weekly movie nights, and an art tutorial to name a few, all from the safety of our own homes. TAG has been a big part of my life. Through my participation in TAG and EPIC, I've had opportunities to meet other care leavers, talk to students and lecturers, young people in care, and people working directly with young people in care and aftercare. I also met the Minister for Children and worked on with the uh, CEO of Tuzla raising important issues about care and aftercare. As part of TAG, I've given presentations to Tuzla staff and board, colleges, events like Care Day and Epic Aftercare conferences. Currently, TAG are working with the board of Tuzla on the existing policy on the transition from care to aftercare. Ireland's national aftercare policy provides support to young people in care from 18 to 21 or 23 if still in education. The policy says that aftercare should be introduced at age 16, but our members have pointed out that this doesn't always happen. Our members have voiced their concern that there's a gap between policy and practice. Our members have said that aftercare kind of sneaks up on them, that they don't feel they're fully prepared. Our aim is to make sure that the policy is fully implemented and that young people have time to prepare for the challenge of leaving care. Before getting involved with EPIC and TAG, I wouldn't have thought about participation and I had no idea how far my voice could go. So far, I have so far I've even changed my love from archaeology to studying public policy. It has been a large part of who I am over the last 10 years. Getting to participate in these groups have given me a chance to use my experiences to help make changes for future young people coming through care and aftercare. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the webinar.